Hello, welcome to Evans Gardening on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be sowing for this month, and I'm going to be potting on some little flower plugs that I bought. Hope you enjoy this video. Instead of doing a video where I'm going today, I'm sowing this, today I'm sowing that, I'm going to be doing a monthly video where I show you what I'm sowing for that month. Today I'm going to be, in this video, today I'm going to be sowing some gherkins, some cucumber gherkins for pickling. Some variegated tomatoes, tomato tigerella. I'm also going to be sowing some loofahs. They've got to be soaked overnight, so I'm not going to be doing them in this video. But I created a video last year and it shows you how to do them, so I'll link that in the description. Using a bamboo... Um, steak i'm gonna mark a halfway line on this seed tray so i can sow different seeds but i'm not gonna be sowing the two tomatoes in either side because tomato plants they'll all look the same and it'll be very confusing so i'm gonna do in one i'm gonna be doing tomatoes and in the other i'm gonna be doing loofah or, or the gherkins and then in the other tray then i'll do the other things I've put them into my seed sowing device so I can scatter these seeds easily. Seed label so I know what they are. And I've just realised that the cherry tomato seeds are all mouldy um, and they don't look very good. So I'm not going to bother sowing them because I've got the tigerella. So I don't need to sew them. I'm going to be doing the gherkins in this little tray here. And then I'm going to be doing the loofahs in the other half of the tray there. Now I'm not using the seed sowing device to plant these seeds because they're fairly big and they need to be planted edge down. And once I've done that, I am going to cover them with a fine layer of some vermiculite. And I'm going to be using one of these old fruit punnet containers as a propagator. You'll have to look for ones that fit your seed tray perfect, perfect, that fit your seed trays perfectly. I found two, and they are re they're really good for my for my seeds. These will keep in the humidity, and they will keep in the warmth. But remember to wipe off any condensation because this that can drip down on the seedlings and rot them. Also I'm going to be potting on some of these plugs I bought today for £1.50. I've got some, I've got two petunias and one fuchsia and they are very unusual um, colours and the flowers, they look really unusual so they're going to be, I think they're going to look really nice in my garden. I'm using a mix of 50% Coco Peat and 50% miracle Grow. I'm not using these little pots because there's not much of a size difference from those little ones and they won't be going out in the garden yet because there's still, there still could be a frost. So I'm going to be using these pots here and then it'll give the roots lots of room to grow and then once they've outgrown those pots they can go out in the garden because the frost should have passed by then. I'm going to gently take them out of the cardboard um, plug then I'm gonna, this is a little trick I, I I use. Then I open it out like that. Then I put it around the inside of the pot like that. Then I plant the plug in there, and then it acts as a label as well. A label with a photograph, so they're easy to identify. And also, I always like to pop them up because they're only cardboard. They'll get mouldy, and they'll and they won't be very strong for the plants there's any um any dead leaves i'm going to be pulling them off and after watering after <laughs> after planting i'm going to give them a water Thank you for watching, have a great day, happy gardening.